Catholic priest Father Sean Doggett is echoing a call this all scenes. I would like to just um, repeat the um, what Bishop Harvey said about um, the kind of behavior which takes place sometimes, I'm told in Granan Cemetery and in some other cemeteries, <clears throat> um, that there should be no such thing, no DJ music, no kind of wild partying. Um, it's not that the, the, the celebration or the remembrance of all the faithful departed should not be an occasion for drinking and partying and loud music. It's a time of remembering those who have gone and, um, and praying for the repose of their souls. So there should, it should be more of a religious celebration. Father Doggett says they will celebrate the Feast of All Saints with their usual Sunday Mass at all churches this year. As part of the cleanup that takes place every year for the November 1st All Saints tradition, inmates at Her Majesty's Prison were seen cutting away on shrubs at the Grand Dance Cemetery on Wednesday. For one gentleman whom we met at the cemetery, he grew up in this tradition. However, now for him, it's more about earning an extra dollar from building graves. He says the whole aspect of All Saints, as he know it, has changed. I know of it. You know, we used to be have a lot of people attending and lighting candles, and so you get less of that now. People just come more like a fet. You know, they come and enjoy, especially the younger ones. A few older ones will come and, and partake, you know, light the candles, say a prayer or something like that. In the end, there's usually no nothing, nothing. Classical right now, yes. Everything is going down and down. The younger people not really following the tradition much, you know. As simple as that, yeah. Painting of graves is also another aspect. This individual says he has been employed with the undertakers since 2010, doing inscription on tombs. Similarly, center and top cemeteries had persons adding their touch to the graves. This elderly lady says she's doing it out of love for her late husband. Come and take care of my husband's grave. And to make it look nice and beautiful. Very wonderful. So I was a very nice man. So in the memory, I come and keep it up and make it look nice. So when the graves on them are paint, and you're passing in buses or in vehicle and thing, and you're looking, it looks beautiful. She does not share the sentiments of others who do not believe the observance of all saints is necessary, since the person has already died. It's a memory, you know, you know, it's a memory. Yes, the person dead and gone is true, but they don't really know what's going on. But with we, we have to, you know, make it, make it good. You know, it's in memory of our loved ones. Christina John, GBN News.